hey guys it's Candy. welcome to my channel so i received some hair from aeon hair and this is their 18 inch spanish curl yes and it is in the color natural black and it's the double drawn human hair of course i am super excited to install this hair i will be installing it without any other hair so no synthetic braiding hair will be used for the achieving of today's style so if you want to see how it turns out stay tuned and we will definitely show you guys the full video all right guys let's get down to business this is how the hair looks straight out of the pack the hair is super defined it's a tighter curl let me separate the curl so you guys can see it's somewhat of a tighter curl you know almost like a deep wave mm -hmm, or a water wave of some sort it's called spanish curl as i mentioned before but let us get into the prepping guys my hair is already somewhat sectioned off this is the front section and i'm just going to undo the back so that i can start parting off my sections for my boho braids so my hair is freshly washed and it's already stretched so i'm going to just go ahead and comb those um definitions out so that i have fully stretched hair to start this style for today and i'm super excited because it is a lasting hairstyle and it is one that will be super duper lightweight without the use of any type of um synthetic braiding hair it will make the hairstyle even lighter which is what i am excited about all right so i'm going to start by doing my first part in the back i finished up the parting so i just realized that each bundle of hair has two separate smaller bundles yeah and these are substantial sizes guys so this is a lot of hair for one package i will see how far three packages take me so you guys can know exactly how much i use all right so let's start the process of course i usually part the back of my hair into four sections i'm gonna be adding pieces of hair that is about this small right, so i'm just separating my hair into three sections to start my hair as a knotless braid so i'm just starting off braiding my hair and after two full revolutions i'm going to go in with my first piece of braiding hair and smooth that The second piece. And continue to braid. Add my third piece. And that piece will be clipped off. And the fourth piece. Fifth piece. Add another piece. So clip off a tiny piece of the curly hair. piece and i think i'm adding the last piece which is, and this will act as a boho piece so clip that off as well so i have three pieces clipped off for the the curls and the rest of it is just being braided all the way until it almost gets to the end I love the fact that I don't have to burn, I don't have to tie, I don't have to glue. None of that stuff is necessary with this hair. It just stays in place. Yeah, and look how much length I was able to get. Yeah. And if I wanted it longer, I would just continue adding pieces of hair as, you know, as many as possible if I wanted to get that waist length look. But we're not going for that today. Mid-back is just fine. 
yeah mid back is just fine for me and um this is the first of many rings yes i actually do love this curl pattern and i'm gonna just continue you guys already know what it is i'm gonna just continue to install the ones in the back because it's easier to, to install them off camera i will come in and do an update to show you guys where i am in the process but i'm simply just making um rows you know parting off rows all the way until i get to the top and then i will come back and show you once i get to the front you know so you can get another angle and get a more up close and personal view all right fair enough all right so guys as promised i did go ahead and finish the back portion off camera this is how it is looking And guys, guess what? You would not believe this. You would be so proud of me. I actually completed the entire thing without using a mirror. I literally sat down. I was watching TV and I actually had to, you know, use my sensory skills and use my skill of estimation to do this. Yes. So when I actually used the mirror to look at it, the boxes did not look too shabby at all. So it turned out nice. All right. So now we're going to move on to the front portion. I'm going to just start to section off the... The right side of my hair, yes, and show you guys how I do that and start doing my parts. And the parts are pretty small if you ask me. I just split this into two. And we're working on this one. So I'm gonna start by adding as usual my China Jam Magic Fingers. And I have my hair, so I'm gonna section off. Maybe I found that I used maybe like eight or so pieces for each braid, believe it or not. So I just go ahead and section off eight pretty small pieces about this size. So I do start off with a knotless braid, guys. So splitting the hair into three like you are doing a regular braid. And I just start braiding my hair. Then I'm going to add my first piece. A second piece. Then I'm going to add my piece for clipping off to give it the boho look. So I added that piece, but I'm going to go ahead and clip that away so that this will form my first piece of curl and just continue braiding adding another piece of hair keep braiding and then about halfway down the length of the braid i'm gonna add my second piece of curl to clip away Add it, clip it away, continue to braid. And at this point, I'm going to just continue braiding until the very end. Add some more product. Make sure that the hair is nice and smooth. Yeah, and we're just leaving the, the end of the, the hair loose. Yep. And this is the first braid in the front. All right, so now we're going to do this one. Oh, let me release my curls. All right. Yeah, so now we're going to focus on this hair one in the front add my product and guys again this is a process of repeating so we're doing the same thing over and over and over again and we're just going to be making boxes yeah all the way across and just make sure you fill in the the braids so that each of these braids fall in between these braids if you do that you have a perfect looking braid style and one that will look nice and full all right so 
guys we are just going to be showing you one more in the front and then by the magic of editing we are going to be done with the style right separating the hair into three and we're gonna start like we're doing a regular braid that's how you do the knotlets method one revolution two revolutions and then on the third you add your first piece of hair for this one i'm gonna leave off clip off my first piece yeah because i want this one you know the ones in the front to have a, a lot more curls frame in the face so for this one in the front i am going to actually clip off this first addition as a curl all right so let's go ahead and clip that off and then we're going to just continue braiding and the second piece keep braiding and the third piece and you're adding the hair on the underside keep braiding I'm going to add my second piece of curl make sure to clip it off keep braiding and this piece of um, this third leg needs another piece of curl so I'm just gonna add that right now and at this point, I'm going to just continue to braid until I get to the, the end point. And of course, we're going to leave some of the curls out. So, you know, maybe about three, four inches at the end. At that point, you stop braiding. But this here is so easy to manage, guys. It does not tangle at all. And I did go ahead and do a test when I was done with the back to see if I was experiencing shedding no shedding at all guys so i do love the fact that the hair is um super duper lightweight easy to handle it doesn't tangle at all and so it is very 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 nice for you know playing with different styles so yeah these are the two that i just did yes yeah, so i'm gonna just continue to do it i will not bore you guys to sit and watch me do my entire head it's the same process so once you get the technique then you already know what time it is all right so let me finish up so i can come back and do the interesting part which is to show you guys some styling options all right quick progress check you guys i've done this much so far and my entire hair that i've done so far was done with two bundles all of this is two bundles and so i only have one bundle remaining to finish up this small section on this side and then this little part in the middle yeah so this is how it's going i am loving it so far and i cannot wait to jazz this nice human hair look how cute so okay guys i did go ahead and finish up the style this is how it turned out it took me maybe it's hard to tell how long it takes because i stopped so many times it is hard to, to say but i would assume or estimate maybe about seven hours if you were to dedicatedly do it ongoingly you know not 100 percent sure don't quote me on it but I, it feels like that would be a ballpark um length of time that it would take i also used only two and a half bundles of the hair so all of this all of this juiciness yes was created with just two and a half bundles of the curly hair no other hair added and so i only have this half remaining guys this is the end result this is the finished look i love 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 how it turned out guys it is so nice and full the texture of the hair is everything the softness of the hair the curl pattern and just how easy it was to braid the hair in without it slipping yeah you would have thought that because it's human hair it would give a, a little bit of challenge in order to do the feeding method absolutely not it is a keeper yeah and i think the, the length is perfect and i definitely can't wait to rock some styles with this you know the easy breezy half up half down is a must 
whether you want to do it this way which is how i love to do mine just grab a few bobby pins literally two bobby pins is enough and snap them into place like so and we are all done yeah look at that Ooh, i love it Or I can do the traditional half up, half down with just a regular hair tie, which I'm going to be doing. This is one of the easiest styles to create and one of the easiest styles to wear. And it can be rocked pretty much for any occasion. So I'm just you know, adding my hair tie quickly. Yeah, and then allow the hair to just fall you guys already know i am a messy hair type of girl of course you know i have to drop my two curls to you know just to frame the face a little bit and then fluff the curls and you are good to go this is literally a two minute hairstyle so just to change up the look a little bit we are exploring yeah different looks And then I can modify this into a full high ponytail or a high bun by just bringing up the rest of the hair that's in the back and using one strand to wrap around everything. Bobby pin. Bobby pin is your friend, girls, when you need to make a quick hairstyle. Two bobby pins and you're good to go. So now we have a high bun. Well, not a high bun, a high ponytail. We have a high ponytail, very cute, with my other um, curl corner, yeah. Okay, so this is another option in terms of styling the hair. Yeah, so as you can see guys, it is very versatile, no worries there. And the most amazing thing about the hair is the fact that it's absolutely weightless. And of course, we can transition into a high bun, of course, a messy high bun. You already know what I like, yes. The messiness is real and I love it. Here, pull down some curls if you can find some and you're good to go. This is another quick two bobby pin look if you are a middle part type of person and you like going for the middle part look then this definitely will work for you perfect length so easy to style no issues and feeling absolutely no tangles from afar it actually looks like you're wearing a wig to be honest but if you do come close enough, you will see that they are braids. So I love that um, look, that versatility. And um, yeah, it's just amazing. And so guys, this wraps up today's video. This is the look of the day, which is the Aeon Hair Spanish Curl 100% Human Hair. I do hope you enjoyed and I definitely will leave the link down below for those who would like to you know, get their hands on some of this amazing hair. It is something that I'm positive you guys would love and um, enjoy. So that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will definitely be leaving the links down below for you guys in case you want to get your hands on this same hair. Yes, they have different lengths and um, you definitely can choose the option that you like. Ah, oh, again, thank you for watching Natural Hair Dynamics. If you're not yet a part of the Natural Hair Dynamics gang, be sure to hit that subscribe button so that you can see each and every time that I post. I do post twice per week, so stay tuned for more videos to come. Take care, walk good, and we will talk. Bye.